Greetings to one and all. In this video, we will learn how to plot a graph between absorbance and concentration of potassium permanganate solution to verify Lambert Beer's law and to determine the molar absorptivity of potassium permanganate if the path length is 1 cm. So, uh, Lambert Beer's law is absorbance equal to, the mathematical expression is absorbance equal to molar absorptivity into concentration into path length. So, for plotting a graph, you need absorbance on the y-axis and concentration on the x-axis. So, for the x-axis data, I should have concentration of KMnO4 solution and if the stock solution is 10 raised to the power minus 4 molar, so I will write it like this. Uh, here, so my 4 and minus 4 are not in subscript and superscript respectively so i will convert it font uh, subscript okay and then select minus 4 font superscript okay so that is how after that uh, the concentration is represented by c so i will just write it like this and the second column is absorbance value which is uh, experimentally determined also called optical density represented by a for x values, let's say my 10 test tubes are uh, from the concentration 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar to 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar, that is 10 to the power minus 3 molar. So, I will have two options to enter my data. First uh, is way is to uh, just add two values first and then select the two. The filled positive sign will come like this and just drag it till 10. This way, you will get the uh, values here with the constant difference in between the two values. Second way is to delete this and enter only the first value that is 1.0 and then in the second cell, add the formula. Formula is your add 1 to my cell A3. So, this is a formula and then once you have entered the formula, just drag the formula till wherever you want your value so i do not want this, this so 10 till 10 now absorbance value is op uh, experimentally determined which i already have so i will just paste it here and uh, to be you need to have uniform values till no, till uh, significant to significant uh, number digits i will just increase the decimal first and then decrease it till two decimal places and just central align this <coughs> okay now I will, to plot you have x values and y values just go to insert and add chart and select x y scatter and select this first chart type this these are the steps which you may follow for any types of uh, microsoft office it will work in 2003 version or uh, you know or, or any higher version if you have this blank uh, chart now with you just right click here and select data in the select data, add the data values. X series will be click here and then click here and then drag it. Left click and drag. So, your X values will be selected. For Y values, click here, left click, left click here and drag. So, Y values will be selected. Click and drag and then just OK and OK. So, your preliminary a rough chart is created which is like this. No? to uh, you know make it more uh, you know user friendly what i'll do is i'll give the chart title first now chart title is can be copied directly from your aim and i will paste it i will paste it here in the chart title so it will be graph between graph between this i have already told you how to do the subscript so you can do this after that the access title access labeling you can do from the design option go to add chart element and in the add chart element in the access title go to primary vertical axis right select everything and write down absorbance <clears throat> in the y axis oh, sorry x axis again add access title and primary horizontal in the primary horizontal select constant concentration of KMnO4 10 raised to the power minus 4 molar ohm 
font script okay now second thing is how to do the scaling i do not want my absorbance to go from uh, till 1.2 so select y axis right click format axis in the format axis select minimum is already 0 select maximum till 1.0 uh, major axis I want till uh, as 0.1, minor axis as 0 0.01, okay. Uh, major and minor axis are the divisions in between the two units, in between the two bounds. Uh, just like in graph paper, you have, you know, big box, small box, just like that. Similar, now uh, you can see major axis. Uh, if I just click here inside, now you see major axis are inside. It is not visible because of the grid lines. I'll just remove the grid lines and then it will be visible. And my ma minor axis, let's say I'm doing outside. So see, minor axis have out in the outline, it is visible. Uh, all right so i'll just show i'll just delete the grid lines so these are the grid lines i do not want them so click on any of the grid line all horizontal grid lines will be selected delete click on any vertical one all vertical ones will be selected press delete right uh, on x axis now select this right click on this format axis again so i want my concentration to go till 10 only and my major axis 1 minor axis 0.1 uh, unit and uh, tick mark again it's your choice cross and then outside let's say so this is how it is visible after that uh, how to the first part is to verify lambert beer's law how to verify it as you know a is equal to uh, insert symbol epsilon a equal to epsilon molar absorptivity into concentration into l so uh, you have you know it is an equation where it's a it's a straight line equation if if the the component is following lambert beer's law it should obey it should fit on the straight line so what i'll do is i'll fit the data points on the straight line how to do that there is a uh, option called add trend line and in the add trend line if you fit the data points on the linear equation it will fit it on the linear equation you can try it on exponential you can try it on logarithmic or or any other equation of your choice but because i know that it should fit on linear as uh, from the equation uh, here so i'll select linear okay so it will give me a probable or a best fit line corresponding to these data points now what are the problems here how will you uh, you know how will you rectify this uh, you know that it has created the trend line from the first point till the last point but as in the equation there is no intercept so set intercept equal to zero it should pass from zero so on doing this the equation will be readjusted second point is here it is not passing through zero in our in the class we ask students to draw a straight line passing through the origin so how to do this in excel is uh, doing forecast i want my forecast to be in the backward direction backward forecast so just backward forecast press for one period and see the result see it has you know uh, forecast till backward forecast now display equation on chart and also display r square value now this this is very important uh, in the uh, best fitting line best fit line because now equation says y equal to point one zero five five x without any intercept this is my straight line equation on which the data points are fitting r square value close to one indicates that the fit is good uh, if r square value is is close to zero then or or you know it's 0 0.4 0 0.5 then we say that data points are not fitting on this equation properly use some other type of equation maybe quadratic or maybe of some other order exponential or so on uh, so this is you know this is how a chart or a graph looks like for a lambert beer's law second aim is to determine molar absorptivity that can be calculated from the slope how you have a you have a and epsilon will be a, a epsilon will be a divided by c into l 
that will be my epsilon that will be my epsilon uh, for permanganate solution for permanganate uh, so uh, here from the equation a is equal to this into x so if part length is 1 centimeter so your epsilon will be 0 0.1055 but what is the catch? The catch is epsilon is not unitless quantity. A is unitless quantity, but concentration has unit, path length has unit. So you have to report your answer in the proper units. So your uh, answer of epsilon should be 0 0.1055 into 10 raised to the power now plus 4 molar inverse centimeter inverse. I hope this is clear. Thank you for watching this.